A woman is rescued near the Virgin River Canyon campground. A hurricane brush fire suspected to be started by juveniles and a truck hauling cows rolls over. You're watching St. George News at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Amy Bennett. On Monday, an afternoon hike ended with a steep rescue mission near the Virgin River Canyon campground after a couple found themselves unprepared for the temperature and terrain. While exploring the south side of the campground, a 68-year-old woman began to feel weak, so the couple opted for a steep route as a shortcut for their return. The woman received on-site treatment and was then transported to St. George Regional Hospital, where she made a full recovery. Multiple fire crews from the Hurricane Valley Fire District responded to a brush fire in the Gould Wash Monday night. Units arrived within six minutes of the call and were able to keep the fire from spreading to nearby homes. In a post from the fire district, the investigation of the fire is complete and it was started by juveniles who were down in the wash. On Monday afternoon, emergency personnel responded to a scene to investigate a crash where they found a pickup truck lying on its top next to a horse trailer that had landed on its side with cows inside of it. The driver and the cows came away from the rollover unharmed. A divine calling led Reverend Robert Willman to move to Southern Utah where he now presides over three Episcopal churches. For more on this, here's Maura Kessler. And in the Episcopal church, people are free to be themselves and they're free to be the human being that God created them to be. Reverend Robert Woman, also known as Father Rob to his parishioners, is a relative newcomer to Southern Utah's faith community. He moved to the St. George area from Ohio in 2023 after a visit left him feeling impressed to relocate. And I was awestruck by this area and I, I felt I must live here. And I actually heard the voice of God saying, you need to come here. A priest of the Episcopal Church, Woman's relocation to southern Utah led to his becoming the pastor of three separate churches, one in St. George, Ivins, and Cedar City respectively, at the start of the year. Woman had been told that these churches, which include Grace Episcopal, Spirit of the Desert, and St. Jude's, could be challenging, yet found his own experience to be much different. I've been in challenging churches. These churches uh, I serve now, Grace, Spirit of the Desert, and St. Jude's, I would say are three of the most incredible, happy churches I've ever served. I've found no challenge so far, but only love and welcome. It is that welcoming nature overall that originally drew women to the Episcopal Church. Originally, he was a priest with the Roman Catholic Church and received further education in Rome during his time there. However, certain factors led to women seeking a similar yet happier situation, and that ultimately brought him to the Episcopal Church. There's difficulties going on right now in the Roman Catholic priesthood that people are well aware of. And um, I, I just made a decision in prayer uh, that I wanted to move to a very similar church, but I think a very happier church. And it was an easy transition. There are, the churches are in many ways identical. Does the Episcopal Church allow pastors to have relationships? Yes. Yes, in the Episcopal Church, you are permitted to have a spouse or a partner. Okay, and, um, and the other difference that's pretty big is women can be priests in the Episcopal Church. So uh, on those two scores, um, it's very different. One thing I, I found and was key in my decision to transition was the uh, existential sorrow amongst the priests in the Roman Catholic Church that are mandated to be alone. Woman went on to reiterate the welcoming nature of the church and that it applies to everyone. It is the most welcoming and open church. Literally anybody can come here and be welcomed and receive Holy Communion, receive the Eucharist, and there's no questions asked. And uh, they're not told they have to go through some program or have to meet a certain criteria. Um, everybody here is absolutely welcome. And I, I believe that's true in some other uh, mainline churches, but it's uh, very true in the Episcopal Church. And it manifests itself as the fact that we have clergy of every spectrum that are functioning and ministering. We have bishops in our church uh, that are straight, that are gay and partnered. And uh, we have, I would say we have a representation of every person in the Episcopal Church and they're all welcome. 
The Episcopalian faith is a part of the Anglican Communion, which boasts 80 million members and is counted as the third largest Christian church worldwide. Thanks, Maury. Bring your camp chair and your dancing boots for live country music in Southern Utah. Due West, a Southern Utah band, is coming to Staley Family Farm in Washington City on Thursday, May 30th. The event will also feature food trucks and a festival atmosphere. Thank you for watching St. George News at 5. I'm Amy Bennett with St. George News, your number one source for local news. This has been St. George News at 5.